I have two planets, three planets, four planets, or maybe five planets in Dustanas. I have a debilitated planet in a Dustana. I have an exalted planet in a Dustana. I have a Kendra Lord in a Dustana. I have my Lagna Lord in a Dustana. I have my Atma Karaka in a Dustana. I have my seventh Lord in a Dustana. I have my Lords of Dustanas in the Dustanas. I have Lords of my Prines in Dustanas. So many questions on Dustanas. What is it? Well, I have made uh, three videos on 6th house, 8th house, 12th house individually. And if you have not watched them, you can watch them, right? I'll put it uh, at, here at the end of the video. Solutions to planets in the 6th house, 8th house and in the 12th house. And I have also made it for the 3rd house. But there is something which you have to understand about Dustanas. If you do not understand that, then you will not understand what a Dustana is. Why is it called Dustan? <laughs> the word Du has many meanings. Sometimes the word Du means bad. Like we have the example of Duryodhan, Dushasan, all right, from the Mahabharata, evil, crooked uh, characters. But sometimes the word Du can also mean to something which refers to very tough, okay, very tough. So, one of the, also one of the uh, meanings of the word uh, Dushasan or let's say Duryodhan is one who is very difficult to be, uh, one who cannot be defeated. It's like very difficult to defeat somebody, right? One who cannot be challenged, one who cannot be checked rather, okay? And similarly, you know, we have uh, Dhritarashtra, right? From the Mahabharata. Dhritarashtra one means uh, one who is very attached in a negative sense. But Dhritarashtra can also mean one who has a very strong hold over the kingdom, which means one who is a very good emperor, right? So similarly, the word Dusthana has many meanings. So first meaning is, of course, Du means bad, which means, what does it mean? It's a bad house, right? So if you have planets in Dusthanas, when do you get the, see, you have to understand, if a planet is in a Dusthana, it doesn't mean your whole life is ruined related to that planet. So for example, if you have Venus in Dusthana, which means, oh, by the way, which are the Dusthanas? The 6th house, 8th house, 12th house. These are primarily the Dusthanas. And 3rd house is also a mild Dusthana, which is uh, which is not a bad house, but uh, it's a difficult house sometimes. But primarily, let's talk of 6th, 8th, and 12th, all right? And these are in ascending order, okay? So 6th house is the least malefic, 8th house is even more difficult and 12th house is the most troublesome. It is the worst among all the Dustanas. Okay. So what happens when you have planets in Dustanas? All right. That's what we'll discuss today. So if you're new to the channel, then please subscribe to it below. And if you want a consultation from me regarding your Dustana war, marriage, career, health, life, relationships, spirituality, then you can go to my website down in the description section. And yes, God is there with you. He was, he is, and he will always be there with you. Just look to him and you will find him. Even if you have planets in Dustanas, he will always be there with you. So many times people think if I have Venus in Dustana, which means I have Venus in 6th, 8th, 12th, I'll never get married or I'll get married to somebody who I don't like or I'll get married to somebody who doesn't like me or I'll have a very bad marriage or I'll have a divorce, one of the five. Or they also sometimes think that oh, if, if I have Venus in 6th, if I marry, my spouse will die or my spouse will go and cheat somebody. Uh, cheat on uh, me with somebody so these are things which people think similarly if that if they see seventh lord is in Adustana, then also they think the first marriage is ruined or maybe they will never get married okay so the thing is you have to understand when you are talking of career or marriage there is not one planet there are many planets like for example if you talk of marriage there is the second house seventh house and the eleventh house Yes, if the lords of all the three are in Dustanas, then it's a troublesome situation. Along with that, if Venus is also there. That adds to the problem. Okay, But suppose you have second lord in 6th, 8th or 12th, or, or you have seventh lord in 6th, 8th, 12th, or 11th lord is in 6th, 8th or 12th. It doesn't mean your entire married life is ruined. Number one. Why? Because marriage is a combined event of so many houses. Right? Therefore, don't just go and think 
or don't just go and tell anybody or don't, don't just go and listen to anybody who says okay you have any planet in you have this planet in the sun so your whole life is ruined right you should never get married or even if you get married you'll end up in a divorce no not like this it's not correct uh and then of course this is number one all right number two is you have to check which dashas will you be running so for example if your seventh lord is in the sixth and you are mortified terrified you are horrified what will happen oh my god better i die than getting married right then you have to see are you going to run the mahadasha of that planet right if you are not going to run the mahadasha of that planet then why at all should you worry unnecessarily why at all should you ruin your life uh, taking so much anxiety as uh, they say no chita aadmi ko ek bar jalati hai lekin chinta bar bar jalati hai <laughs> when somebody dies they are cremated only once but uh when you are worried you are having anxiety then it's like every moment you are getting burned you are dying right so therefore you should really understand that unless the mahadasha of that planet which is in adustana is coming in your life uh not really that you are always in trouble all right uh now what you need to understand is sometimes people think that oh this planet was in adustana but it did not give him bad results i'll tell you why why that happens this is primarily because of two reasons it's actually very counter intuitive but yet funny sometimes this shows how little people are actually using uh, correct uh, the correct forms of astrology so for example you have a planet in the 8th house right and the dasha of that planet started you had a great married life or oh, not 8th house sorry let's take 6th house this is a better ex- example you have a planet in the 6th house and the dasha started and you had a great life you had a great married life you had a great family life how in the universe is that possible well actually what happened was in your bhava chart that planet was not in the 5th house but because 99% of the people in youtube astrology are not aware of bhava chart they don't give a damn about bhava chart they just say you are speaking nonsense why do you take this useless tell about these useless charts like bhava chart you know it doesn't make any sense i only see the lagna chart i just see the rashi chart right but that that's not how astrology works the placement of a planet is to be taken was is and always should be taken from the bhava chart because bhava chart tells where the planet is placed which house bhava means the house right uh and therefore that is the area which the planet is linked to so he will give results of that particular house not where he is in your lagna chart all right so if you are clueless about what's bhava chart then you can type exotic astrology bhava chart right now so you had this planet in the 6th house but in your bhava chart it might have moved to the 5th house which is the house of you know happiness love and you know children and prosperity intelligence so that is why in the mahadasha you had a great life so it was not that uh, this planet was in the 6th and uh, it suddenly gave you all good things in life then you will become a philosopher you know cross through difficulties in life but the fact is you might not have faced any difficulty because that planet was not in your 6th and then you went on to give a big lecture on life you know spirituality philosophy how life is this how life is that but the fact of the matter is you never faced any challenge major challenge right so if the planet is in the fifth actually right compared to a planet in the sixth so therefore if you have a plan because the similar situation can be if your planet is in the eighth house or if he is in the eighth house of your lagna chart right which means from the ascendant he is in the eighth sign so you think he is in the eighth house also but he may move to the seventh house in your bhav chart so which means he will give results of the seventh house now take the example of the 12th house wow planet in 12th house but this gave me lot of gains why because in the bhav chart it was in your 11th house not in your uh 12th house that was the reason right so you again will become a philosopher if you think you have a planet in the 12th and uh it gave you great gains then you will keep saying oh you know losses keep happening this happened that happened but the reality is it was always in your 11th house right so this is what uh, you have to understand when you are practically deciphering the results of a planet all right so first you have to check significantly regarding those events like marriage where are the lords of the other houses placed right and you also have to check where is the karaka okay like venus then for career you need to check the second house sixth house 10th house lords of these houses 
And you also have to check Mercury, Sun, Saturn. These three are Karakas for the 10th house, right? So if they are well-placed, then this can uh, mitigate the difficulties. Mitigate doesn't mean it will cancel out. It can help you to negotiate through them, okay? And then don't ignore the Bhautra. And lastly, do not ignore Tashas. Never ignore them, all right? Uh, but now, suppose, let's take the worst case scenario. You have a planet in Adustana. Of your bhav chart, it's in the eighth house, right? So you have to understand what is sixth house first. Sixth house shows general difficulties and delays, disappointments, lowering your expectations. I've said 100 times in that sixth house video that any planet you have in your sixth house, you have to lower your expectations. You will not get what you want. You will only get what you need. Should I repeat, a planet in the sixth may not give you what you want. It may somehow give you what you need. That's the sixth house. And even if you get what you want, it will be a lot of headache, hurdle, competition, and at the end, you'll feel better. I was better off without this, right? So the happiness is not there, even if you get something, right? So... This is the sixth house. All generic problems of life, all diseases, fighting, quarrel, hidden enemies, these are all sixth house, right? Then you go to the eighth house. What is eighth house? Eighth house is reversal and setback, which means you think you could have done this, but then the opposite happens, right? So imagine you uh, thought you will win a lottery somewhere and you went there. You did not get the lottery. That's like sixth house. But now imagine. The police catches you and says, oh, you have done some trickery, you know, by some uh, illegitimate means you have invested money here, you have not paid tax or something like this. And then the police comes and catches you and puts you in the jail. Uh -huh. That's exactly the eighth house, right? So sixth house means you try something, it doesn't matter. Eighth house means you are, you not only don't get it, but you are like extra trouble, double trouble as they say, right? Now we have the 12th house. 12th house means there was delays, there was a setback, and you also lost money, right? So 12th house means there is severe expenditure or loss. Expenditure can be in accounts of good things also, like, you know, business expense, for example. But here it explicitly means loss due to some stupid reasons, all right? So therefore, if you have planets in Dustanas, then you have to understand that there is some payback or karma in this life that you have to do. You can't stop it, you can't evade it, all right? So it can be anything. It can be letting go of your ego or some person or some money, some resource, some land, property, something, whatever it is, that depends on your chart, but something or the other you have to let go, okay? Of course, the astrologer should uh, be able to tell you what that is. Or he or she should be able to give you an idea that maybe in these sectors, you may lose more, right? Relationships, um, partners or uh, family members, money, career, name, fame, power, position, anything you might lose. So if you have too many planets in your Dustanas of your Bhav chart, not your Lagna chart. Okay. So then you have to make peace with the fact that there is a lot of payback that you will have to do in this life. And this is a very empowering lesson. You may feel, oh, this is very negative. You are spreading fear, this, that. No. This is not fear because this will anyways happen to you. But the thing is, should you keep sitting and crying, oh, this is gone, that is gone. By that, you will become a thousand times more miserable, right? So therefore, if you have too many planets in Dustanas, then you really have, because all the trouble of this world, all the bad, all the negativity is there in these houses. Like sometimes I see videos in YouTube where they say, Oh, Dustanas are incredibly powerful. You know, they have, they, they, Dustanas have this, it has that, ye bhi hai, wo bhi hai, sab kuch hai Dustana. Well, if that was true, then there would be no problems in this world, right? People would never die, people would never fall sick, people would never get divorced, people would never fight, never quarrel. This world would be just like Vaikuntha, perfect, right? Vaikuntha means place without any misery. But the Dustanas are a prerogative of this world. Therefore, there is misery in this world, as Lord Krishna says in the Gita. So, do not close your eyes artificially and uh, think that, oh, there's nothing like Gustana, you know, it's all just uh, power-packed houses, you know, trying to bring out the best in me or something. Of course, this is one interpretation of the Gustana. Now, there's another interpretation. Like I said, you the word do can also mean tough houses, right? So, Gustanas can also mean that 
the things are very tough for you to achieve but this happens when the nakshatra lord of that planet is in a good dignity so for example uh, you have venus in 6th uh, house for example for example and venus is uh, in uh, aries all right in uh, above ashwini venus is in ashwini okay now where is ketu placed if ketu is also in adusthana then there is severe karma that you have to pay but, but suppose ketu is in the 7th house or in the 11th house or in the second house then this means the planet is externally in the 6th house which means he is giving you some trouble related to marriage and finding a spouse but the nakshatra lord is well placed so that's more important than the planet so the nakshatra lord is well placed therefore you know that yes the marriage will happen eventually but with some delays and disappointments but the marriage will happen but if this ketu is also in a dusthana or in a bad dignity then the marriage is totally cancelled it cannot happen all right this is just an example now you don't say why oh, have venus in six my nakshatra lord is here why why did it not happen these are combinations and placements which i am telling you in isolation without looking at the entire chart which you should never do but this is just for learning purposes so that you understand how should i read a particular planet other results of the plan okay but if the nakshatra lord is where badly placed then it's like very difficult so you check what's going on in your chart and the more the prominence of the planets more the trouble so if your lagnesh is in adusthana 10th lord is in adusthana or your trinal lords are in dusthanas your atma karaka is in dusthana or jupiter sun moon these three are in dusthanas then the trouble is more another thing is you should be uh the more the planets you have in dusthana the more the spiritual practices that you should do because dusthanas also inspire you to do adharma all right or they instigate you rather yes eighth house that's the 12th from the ninth house of dharma that's the core house of sin adharma papa all right much more than papa actually all right so therefore when you have planets in dusthanas you will have a tendency inside to force things which are not there in your karma right so suppose uh you know that uh, this is not uh, this job does not belong to you but then you give a bribe or you uh, give some money here there and uh, you get the job but then what happens that is not there in your karma so when you force things unnaturally by doing sinful activities and get things which are not there in your karma then what happens is eventually that thing will either be taken away from you or even if that thing is there with you you will not get the happiness that you were supposed to get out of it right for example you get a big you know job government job in india very prestigious then you got it by giving bribe for example you didn't deserve it you didn't you couldn't clear the exam or the interview by your own efforts now what will happen later on either you will have so much expenditure or so much defamy that your name fame will be the same as it would have been if you were not in this position right or maybe you lose all the money or maybe you will have so much headache so when you force things which are not in your karma these are the things that will happen okay so therefore never do adharma to activate those planets or to get things though that these planets represent so for example if seventh lord is in the 8th house so there was one uh, lady she had 7th lord in the 8th and that 7th lord was in a uh, very bad dignity actually all right uh, <laughs> so then she said uh, i love uh, this person i love a man but he's married so i'm uh, so should i stay away from this person because he's married or should i try to get him towards me by whatever <laughs> so then i said see and she had other combinations of you know no marriage or bad marriage or something like that. so i said by ruining the life of another lady you can never be happy even if you seduce that person to come and stay with you it will not work <laughs> right uh, but then she was like not very convinced and she was like oh yeah i mean after all i love him you know so why can't i do why can't i get get him to me you know i can why not right that's a typical example it's like ravana mentality surpanakha mentality all right 
So I will try to get things which are not for me. Like Lord Ram was the husband of Sita Devi. So Suprakha had no right on him or on Lakshman before, right? Similarly, Sita Devi was the wife of Lord Ram. So Ravan had no right on her. Ravan had no, no rights to get her, right? But then what happened? They did not accept what was not there in their karma. Duryodhan, he was not destined to be the king because he was unqualified. Neither was he the eldest. Neither did anybody like him. He was the subject of abject hatred. But then what he did? He did Lakshagra. He did uh, he insulted the Pandavas, made them slaves, tried to make uh, Draupadi naked in front of everybody. Killed Abhimanyu. So much nuisance he created in the lives of the Pandavas. And at the end, he was left alone. When he died, there was nobody. How miserable was his end, right? Duryodhana and his... Duryodhana and company, Duryodhan, Shakuni, Dushasan, Karna, and all the Kurus, of course. How miserably they have died. You know? So therefore, you have to understand that there is a price that I might have to pay. So you have to have that level of spiritual maturity to understand this. All right. Therefore, when you have plants in Dustanas, understand one of the two will happen. Either you will try everything and it will not happen, which is very unfortunate, or it will happen after a lot of like second attempt, third attempt, fourth attempt like this. All right. And that's unfortunate, but that's the reality of this material world. You can't just deny it. All right. But what should you do if you have plants in Dustanas? Well, then uh, you can read the Bhagavad Gita, enlighten yourself from Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavatam and meet spiritually enlightened people. And by that, you can understand that I am a spirit soul. I am not these problems or these problems are not mine. Neither am I theirs, right? So therefore, if you have plants in Dustanas, please pray to God that you can navigate through them without doing adharma, okay? Because many people, they have plants in Dustanas, but they do sin and they get away with it. But then that will, that's not going to help you. That will perpetuate your bad karma and it will make you more sinful and you will have terrible, terrible, terrible combinations in your next life. Okay. So therefore, have a spiritual practice or our many <laughs> practices. Why only one, right? And then navigate through these uh, in the right way. But don't forget to check which dashas you are running and don't forget to check the other planets which signify the same event. Okay. Thank you very much. This was a heavy video but it was required. Okay. Thank you very much. If you are new to the channel then please subscribe to down below and other videos on 6th, 8th and 12th houses are here. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. And if you want a consultation from me, my website is down below. Thank you.